Yo, what's going on? It's Ballistic, Ballistic Beats, BallisticProductions.com. Back with another laptop update for the 2020, for the quarantine portion of 2020 and beyond, whatever that might be. <laughs> um, this video is going to be a little bit different. Like, I got this laptop like two months ago. I did a whole unboxing video with two cameras and all that and then I ended up getting rid of that camera and I think I did something crazy and like erased the card or something. Anyway, I got part of that so I'm gonna put that portion of the unboxing in this video so you can see like how everything was in the beginning. Um, I did update it. I got a um, dbrand skin on here and everything i'll talk about a little bit more um after having it for two months how i feel about it at the end of the video uh before we get started hit the like button hit the subscribe button hit the comment section let me know what you think if you have any questions uh and uh yeah let's get to it <laughs> I went with the RTX 2060 uh, 10th gen i7 10750 processor with six cores, 12 threads. That is what I needed. I was about to get the 1660, but thought I'd need something a little more than that, but less than the 2070. Um, Cause I will be gaming on it also, but um, I still have a desktop with a full desktop 2070 and uh, all that. So this will be my main gaming rig, the desktop. And this will be just when I'm lazy, don't want to come in this room or when I'm away, whenever we actually get away again or whatnot. So yeah, this ain't like a full review, but I just thought I'd do a quick unboxing and comparison. So yeah, uh, just to follow up, almost a year later, um, I got this razor blade stealth back in August of 2019. And so yeah, I'm right shy of a year. And now it was time to upgrade. So after messing with it during that time, all I really did on it was like web stuff, uh, check emails, um, media like YouTube and all that kind of stuff. It did do well with Premiere though. Um, I will say I could even edit like 4K clips and all that kind of stuff in there. I never tried exporting them, but when I was away, I would go ahead and edit and cut up the video, like chop it and all that. And then I'll put it on my hard drive and like export it on my main rig. But you can edit like good video and stuff with the stealth. Um, with beats, you can make beats on it. I just prefer to not have to have uh, audio interface and stuff with me all the time. When I'm doing something serious, I would want to take the Apollo or my other interface with me. I just remember I had an MSI GL63 laptop with the i7-8750 and it did almost whatever I wanted it to do without an interface at all. So I figured the 10750 should do even better than that. So I was able to put all my sounds in there and actually get out and not have to work. I could just plug my headphones in and make beats and stuff. So I want to have that same capability with this and I'm pretty sure it'll do that. Um, the stealth though, it was super nice also. And I got a good price for it um, on uh, eBay. So I actually was supposed to send it off today but 
UPS literally just got here. Like, everybody else sent my packages early in the day, but UPS got here at almost 8 o'clock. Um, but I wanted to get this video done to at least be able to hold them against each other and compare them and whatnot. And you can see they both have similar style, but this one is a lot bigger. So that'll take some getting used to. Um, it ain't that much bigger, I would say. And they both are like pretty slim and whatnot. So they pretty much have the same design. So I can just have a lot more power and that's what I needed. Another thing with this, this, this right here, I thought it wouldn't be a big deal at first, but that was horrible. That made me not want to use this laptop sometime. Like when I was typing, and I think I'm hitting shift and actually hit the up arrow key and it just messed up everything that you're typing. And that was a huge pain. Like it literally just made me not want to do anything like typing on there, period. Like literally. I think that was an issue with the Blade 15 also, but you see this year, I guess they wanted you to see for sure that they fixed that, so they extended it all the way. That's crazy, <laughs> but that's better than it being too short any day. All right, so anyway, yeah. What I didn't like, of course, um, it's kind of, I don't know, I, I won't say I don't like it, but the green snake logo on the Razer it's actually pretty cool, but I like minimal designs. I like everything like that from clothes to to shoes and everything. Like I just like plain, straight to the color, black on black, black with a little white or just stuff like that. But um, and grays and greens, but anyway. All right, but yeah, so I did end up putting the D brand skin on not just for the snake logo but also the fact that the razor itself it just picked up so many fingerprints this ain't that much better you might see some fingerprints on here yeah like down here but it is a lot better and i like the blacked out without the logo cut out this is from d brand um not sponsored hopefully i will be one day maybe we'll see but everything's holding up you can see those fingerprints in there though there we go but overall it's still a dope ass laptop probably the, my favorite that i've had so far like two months ago on amazon i got this on sale for like 1700 and something or whatever it's the 2060 version so i was like it's kind of it's worth it i still think it's worth it but um, my homie was asking about computers like two weeks ago. I referred him to it and uh, he got one from Best Buy for $14.99. Then I looked on Amazon and it was $14.99 there too. And like earlier this week, I looked on Amazon and it was the deal of the day. And it was like $13.99 for the 2060 version of the 2020 version of 15. I did kind of feel a little way, but I honestly still don't feel bad about the price that I paid because it's well worth it. I would have paid more. Like if it was two twenty two hundred or something, I probably still would have got it because I had my eye on it for a while. Um, I'll put a link in the description to see what it is right now, but it has been like lower. It's going to be lower than I paid for it. <laughs> Lucky. But yeah so you can check that out and see what it is now and i recommend you get it like this is my favorite laptop period and that's including the uh 2018 macbook like of course macs are super dope always oh, gonna have a place but as far as like power and editing video and adobe premiere and just making beats and just doing whatever you really can't beat that that razor razor is damn near a macbook for windows just quality wise i mean the trackpad the the feel it just feels premium it's not plasticky or none of that so everything just works pretty cool 
the cons there's not that many um i wish the battery was a little bit longer they say you can get like eight hours or so you probably will get like four or five hours out of it depending on what you're doing of course um also the fan you can go into the razor synapse app and change the fan settings or whatever but i really kind of leave it balanced and it still just blows hard like you could sit there and go into google chrome open up a couple tabs like doing research or whatever and the fan is just humming like loud like not subtly like it's on <laughs> but it doesn't bother me that much but that's like the thing i dislike the most about it and then let alone when you get into a beat and got so many vsts on there it's gonna handle it without struggling without stuttering one time like but the fan is gonna blow <laughs> even especially like playing games just heavy loads with uh video editing or making beats the fan is gonna go hard but that's a good thing because if the fan wasn't going that hard it can't stay cool and you'll probably get some performance issues and all that kind of stuff i will say with the razor blade stealth you can make beats and you can pretty much you're not too limited as long as you're on power it did have a i7 that was four cores and a little bit lower power and all that but um you couldn't do too much on battery like if you were on battery it would like start to stutter out around like five omnispheres or something like that but um the 15 it i haven't been able to like push it to the limit yet like i actually did the omnisphere test i put like 20 on there i might do a video on that but it, it took it it just without even uh being connected to an interface like it just it did what i wanted to do so um i can't complain about it i'm kind of rambling and stumbling over words but that's really how i feel like i'm blown away by it and looking forward to using it for years to come i'm hoping that i can get some mileage out of this one like i did my macbook pro 2015 which i just sold this year but with the power it got it can it can do the thing i may build another desktop like an amd one or something for fun i'm into it so i just enjoy new laptop and computer technologies and stuff you don't have to have any of these laptops or the level of any of these laptops you can go get a 500 dollar or 400 dollar laptop and make beats fine and probably get placements and sell beats online all that kind of stuff so this is just me thought i'd share my thoughts on this 2020 razor blade 15 base model uh let me know what you think again in the comments hit the like button hit the subscribe button until next time y'all hold it down <laughs>